The cell selection change, pretty much the same thing. This is triggered whenever a cell's selection changes. So you don't actually have to change the value of the cell. You just have to switch it. You can use your arrow keys or you can click with your mouse or what have you. This, again, uses target to represent the cell in question. So we're going to do pretty much the same thing. I'll go ahead and blaze through this one here. We're going to say selection for the worksheet tab name. Zoom in a little bit here. And then in sheet 7, I'm going to create a, I'm going to click on a worksheet and create a worksheet selection change. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to change the verbiage a little bit. So the message box that's going to pop up is going to be, you moved cell selection to cell, and then we'll put the target. Target.address, and we'll use the relative reference. So you move cell selection to, and then the current target. And I need an ampersand. So here we go. If I click here, you moved cell selection to cell B4. You moved to E3. And in, within the full course, we'll actually expound a lot on this and show you all the tricks that you need to know. But you don't only just do message boxes, of course. You can also do... Um, you can treat a cell as if it were a button. You can actually um, tell it that, you know, if you clicked within a range of cells, if you if you clicked within E3 through F4, then do something special. You know, tell them, hey, you're not supposed to click here, or run macro number 3, or something like this. Or change the cell's color from this to that, or whatever. Delete the, all the files of the computer. No, you don't want to do that. But you can do a lot with that information.